We got one dollar from Feed Me, who says one dollar towards Sereth waving, waving to the camera. Also, MX, MSX FM Best FM. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for Grand Theft Auto 3!
There we go. Oh, you got 124. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have sound, please? Yeah, better. <laughs> Classic videos. <laughs> did not just happen. <laughs> no, audio from the 140 or something. <laughs> <laughs> Best highlight ever. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is going to be hard as hell to get through. I can already tell. This is happening to so oh many people. Oh my god, <laughs> I have to make this bridge. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> <laughs> Bombo combo. Bombo combo. Get ready. What? <laughs> 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 No! No! <laughs> Did you fucking see that? Did you see that? We're nearly done. <laughs> nearly. <laughs> I have <laughs> no words for what just happened here. No words can describe what just happened here. <laughs> What video is that from anyway? <laughs> <laughs> that was from the Trash Master flip, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's a good one. Alright, should I count down? Yeah, you can do it. Alright. Go in three, two, one, go. Alright, this is GTA 3, any percent. This was featured last year as well, but it has changed a lot since then. Back then there was a race between Oasis and Adam, which basically uh, started the any percent uh, running of this game actually, especially Oasis. And it has changed a lot, in the ter especially in the later half of the game. We've Back then I think it was like 3 or 4 Dodo flights, now we are 11. And for Oh, sorry, my bad. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> and for those who don't know yet, there is a plane in this game that most people don't actually know you can fly and we will utilize it a lot. But we'll see that later. It doesn't look flyable. It, practically speaking, it isn't really flyable, but we figured out how to, how to make it work somehow.
Yeah, it has some interesting physics that you can take advantage of. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see later. It takes like 50 minutes to get there. So first part of the game, it's like three islands basically. In the first part, there's only the first island called Portland Unlocked. And that's not good. And yeah, there's an interesting timing mechanic at the end of Portland actually. But I think I will explain all of that later. But first, you will see me switching camera, for example, a lot to top-down view, mostly. If you switch to top-down view, cars will be despawned, and if you stay in top-down view while having a decent amount of speed, no traffic can actually spawn. There's lots of other camera manipulation you can do. You can do reverse camera, which just prevents traffic from spawning even at lower speeds. It's all featured in this run. It's traffic, man. <laughs> and other things I did er already is I lost my driver door, which you can see on this side. It skips basically uh, the door opening and closing animation every time I leave my car, which saves around one second every time I do that. Which adds up to being quite a lot, actually. Yeah. This traffic. <laughs> yeah, you're getting some really awful tracking. And I will do that uh, door losing and the camera throughout the whole run basically, every time I can do it without too losing too much time. Uh, and the door thing it doesn't sound like a lot, but in this game it is a lot because this game got really optimized. That's perfect. And <laughs> every second counts, especially at the end of Portland, because there's a timing mechanism that can cost you up to one minute if you barely miss the um, cutoff point, so you don't want to do that. That was a nice exit. Yeah. I actually skipped the door there. But in general, uh, GTA speedruns, uh, and in particular 3, are largely about like really small optimizations, just taking turns optimally and, and knowing how to put certain cars to their limits. Like this car right here is just a piece of, a piece of junk. But yeah, it's, it's it takes quite a while to learn the exact handling of this car, so you can drive these corners with high speed. Yeah. And I did that pretty well. Yep. But yeah, in general, don't expect to see any like huge glitching in this run, but expect to see, you know, really precise driving and, and yeah. later on a couple of uh, a pretty damn cool uh, flying tracks. Any percent of this game has no glitches of use besides the infinite running and I guess if you say the Dodos are a glitch that's kind of too but that's basically it nothing else yep maybe the replay nothing, nothing intentional oh nothing. yeah replay gets featured in one mission yeah but we'll see that later all right police car hype at this point you have to try and uh, obtain a police car uh, optimally it just spawns on the street and you, you can yeah, steal you it yeah you can get it right in front of the garage or you get one of these that's okay. good yeah, that's good. nice it's unlocked so those, those, those cars actually have a, a very a high percentage of being locked. The first car is yeah. around 60% locked and the second one 70%. So if you actually run this game, you get a lot of resets four minutes into the run just by not getting police cars. And yeah. we got pretty lucky there. The police car is pretty crucial because not, o not only is it the, uh, it's one the second of the fastest, fastest car on the first island. And plus you get the five shotgun shell shells which we're going to put to use later. Yeah, we need those five shotgun shells for two missions, actually. And they are pretty crucial. Yeah, here you get out of the car exactly oh yeah. the as the cutscene starts, because then Misty, the girl you're picking up, she starts sprinting towards you. Yeah, as soon as the camera switches, uh, she starts running because you're outside of a car. NPCs always run after you if you're not in a car, and some NPCs walk towards you if you're inside a car. And we basically get out of the car right after we start the cutscene to make her run, which saves a little bit of amount of time, but we need every second we can, yeah. The cardboard boxes in that kind of corridor-like area are pure evil, by the way. Sometimes they can glitch out and like, yeah, I hope just we not break. I hope we don't <coughs> see that later. Yeah, you can just basically get stuck on them for a very long time. Yeah. Hasn't happened so far. So in this mission I will have to obtain a pistol. For that I will probably kill one of the Mafia members because they always carry around a pistol with nine shots which is barely enough, you need like five at, at, at least and the best six so you can still make it. 
Yeah, you've you got to be careful that you don't kill too many pedestrians, though, to avoid having a wanted star. Yeah, because that you prevents can't you finish this mission with a wanted star level. Yeah, exactly. So you can kill a police officer to get a gun, for example. That's my gun. Thank you. Yeah, nice. But even if you do get a one to start, there is a police bribe not too far from out of the way. So yeah, but it would cost. Time. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Right now we do a little drop. Normally you're supposed to drive on the road down there. And so the drop is pretty fun. risky because you're not allowed to damage this car, and you would have to respray it, which is very far away. The wow. That's <laughs> close. <laughs> that was close. No, no, no. It, would, it would save its damage. It's fine. Sometimes uh, it's the light. Actually, but yeah, I would have had to drive where I resprayed my stallion, and if you paid attention, that's pretty far away, so you do not want to do you that. You lose about 50 seconds. Yeah. yeah. And the drop, the drop is very tricky because if you're going too fast, you're going to flip the car, but if you're going too slow, you risk just landing on the, uh, on the front, front bumper, bumper and yeah. damaging the car. Yeah. Or undershooting and just like crashing into the fence. Yeah. yeah. It is, it's pretty precise. There's no reference for speed in this game because there's no like meter or anything. There's no indication yeah. of how fast you're going. It's um, all just uh, feeling bad. Yeah, it's all intuition. All right, that's it. Now we have a little cutscene where he just walks down and gets into the car and nothing really happens. So next up, there's the mission we need the pistol for. It's only one mission we actually need the pistol for. We shoot one guy. And after that, we put our shotgun shells to the first use and get rid of our police car. Yeah. It's very important to have shotgun shells at this point. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. You're, uh, you're in trouble. Originally, uh, the strat for the mission where we get rid of our police car, Coblin Heist, uh, the strats back in the day when Adam and Oasis started, uh, were still running it. And yeah, back when Oasis was basically still running it. Um, you normally try to damage the van just with the police car by running in into it, crashing into it, and stuff like that, which is really risky. You actually saw that in the highlight reel at the mm -hmm. beginning where Adam got busted. That happened a lot. Not quite as fancy as in the highlight, but that yeah. happened a lot. And it took way longer to get enough damage on the van. But it nowadays, used to be, uh, we do it a little differently, and we'll see that actually shortly. It used to be a major run for the mission, and yeah, until like last year, June or something, maybe July, when somebody came up with a strategy to actually, you know, do perfectly consistently with almost no risk of being busted. But getting out of the first island and getting out of Portland used to be just almost impossible. Horrible, this that's Yeah, it's it just horrible. It still is hard nowadays, but it's become a whole lot easier. Nope, it's the bad pattern. Yeah, this mi this yeah. mission is still the first major RNG mission in Portland. Yeah, it has two patterns. And I got the bad one. I just don't know. I just yeah, yeah, this is a map pattern because you, uh, you have to turn around here. And it's slightly further away from the drop of the time. Plus, it's, uh, it takes longer to park the police car because if you get a good pattern, you can just floor it and just line it up and it it just fits perfectly. Yeah, the good pattern, the van basically kind of lines up with the direction we're going already and you can park way easier, it's less risky to get busted, all of that. You don't have to turn it around. Yeah, it's about 10 to 15 seconds. Yeah, quite a bit of depending on traffic. And it's like 50 50 because I suppose the parents it doesn't yeah. really have any preference as far as I can tell. Sure. Yeah, right now it's fine, I guess. So first up we have a $10 donation from uh, Nord. Take my second donation please. I'll go please take off your shirt and show us your German sex appeal. <laughs> and we have another donation from Pete the Player of 69 cents. Donating for the final time probably because this brings up my brings my PayPal account down to zero dollars. Amazing video you just showed. Glad to see my favorite GTA game at last. Good luck on this run and Vice City tomorrow, Iko. Shoutouts to everyone from Hashtag GTA. Whoever enjoys GTA speedruns has to stop by. As for me, count me on to be at next year's ESA. Yeah, on topic of that highlight reel, I should uh, give credit to Radio Math. He actually cut all the clips together and did all the work. I just collected most of them but I'm really bad at video editing, so he did that. <laughs> I hope he actually watched that. I told him to watch it. There might be a surprise. <laughs> and I really hope he did. But since he's from America, I'm not sure if he was actually able to catch it. So great thanks to Radio Math for that. I think I might have seen a Radio Math in chat. 
That's good there. And yeah, in this mission, yeah, there, there he is. Get to meet Tony and drive him around a bit. The important thing in this mission is basically just to not get a wanted level because then you can't finish the mission. And you're also not allowed to kill the car, but that should never happen anyways. Well, there's one spot near the start where you can very easily flip over the car. Um, the pavements are kind of dodgy in this game, and sometimes when you hit them at high speeds, they just, they just flip you over. You have to, if you hit them at a high speed and a little bit of a different angle, then you flip. But since usually you're going to vomit. Since I drive over it a few hundred times, <laughs> I kind of know where to drive, so it mostly is fine, but can always flip something bad. And now we come to the... M a uh, mission with most RNG, in Portland especially, which and always decides basically the ending times, what you will be able to get, which I will explain later. Um, in this mission you have to kill three vans, three fish vans, and first you need the weapon to kill those. And the best way to kill them is by drive-by, and so we buy an Uzi right here. The game actually expects you to buy, uh, to pick up some grenades and use those for blowing up these. Uh, yeah, the game actually tells you after the mission that you can now buy Uzis, but you can buy them during the mission as well. Yeah. All right, let's see what kind of pattern we have. This looks pretty decent so far. Yeah, these guys drive around randomly. They've got a fixed starting position, but the, yeah. the way they drive afterwards is just completely random. Yep. And sometimes they kind of split up and they drive in different directions, and then you often end up one. losing quite a bit of time. Uh, yeah. I'm not quite doing what I want. We have they all take 38 uh, bullets to, to destroy, so you can have exactly enough to, yeah. to kill them. Works perfectly fine with the um, amount of bullets you get from one shopping there. Yeah, this seems like a it's decent an enough pattern, pattern. Yeah, it's not terrible. It's it could, it could have been if he turns awesome. right now on the next one, it's fine. So. Yep. 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 Okay, that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. Basically, you want the last land to be driving uh, right, towards Tony's, because that's where the this next is mission will be. Nearly 1330 pattern uh, pace, not quite. I will probably not be able to make it because I would have to play perfectly from now on. Yeah, yeah. there is this, what we already said, the replay glitch. You can um, start a replay and cancel a replay. And the thing, that how the in-game timer um, behaves is that if you start at like 20, there's like 20 sec uh, 22 seconds on in-game timer and right before it uh, jumps to 23, you start the replay, you cancel replay and then it's a full second again. So the in-game timer kind of freezes. And it costs you a few frames to do the replay, but you basically win a full second if you do it exactly right. And in the end, that can actually get you the um, right Portland time you want, but it usually leads to some soft locks for me when on zone changes and stuff like that, Oops. so I don't want to risk that, especially in a run like this, where if you get a soft lock I would have to rely on uh, save files and I don't want to do that, so we're not gonna do that. Yeah, basically it truncates the time down, uh, yeah. so there are certain, certain missions in the game that depend on the in-game block on the in-game time, and you can manipulate what the in-game time will be then. Yeah, but exactly. It's uh, you know, there's a risk of it soft locking in. It's a lot of replays for me, basically. Yeah. I will do... Re I will use make use of replay in one mission, which is Liberator. It's on a second island. Um, it leads to the AI being super confused and not attacking you anymore, besides two guys. And that's very helpful because um, without it, you have to do a little bit of a risky strat that can kill your car, can kill you, damage you a lot, stuff like that. And it, it's, it's, it's uh, slower as well because you have to drive over a few people, which you don't have to do anymore with the replay. So I'm using it for that because you only use the replay once and it saves a decent amount of time. Yeah, it's worth noting that uh, in particular in the later missions, like you can actually get blown up very easily in a whole bunch of Yeah, spots. they get a lot better weapons. Yeah, so um, pretty much everything is actually moderately risky at the end of the game. Still got to use Drive Summer there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, by the way, uh, tell me if the viewers decide to switch the radio station by donating for something else. I can do that on the fly. 
Okay, we have some more dona donations in the meantime though. We have $2 from El Nino. Good luck on your run, Argod, in GTA 3. Greetings to Adam AK from El Nino. What's up, El Nino? We have $5 from Maglame. Argod streaming with webcam. With, uh, with webcam. Craigasm. And $10 from I am Nathan. Hey guys, I've seen most of the SGDQs and AGDQs along with the awful GDQ. But this is my first ESA. Good luck on the runs. Good luck on the run, Lundendi, and always a great watch. Also, good luck to Thiesbug on Majora's Mask 100%. I won't be able to tune into that one, sadly. I could have done their very risky sweat called Yellow Stairs, but the thing with this mission is, oops, you're not allowed to have a wanted level if you pick up one of the guys. And the stairs are not a street, obviously, <laughs> so there's a lot of pedestrians. And if you run over three pedestrians in a short amount of time in this game, you get a wanted star. So it's fairly risky, and you can also sometimes get stuck on pedestrians because physics can behave weirdly in this game occasionally. Or get stuck on the stairs themselves. Yeah, not to mention that you can get a cop, cop spawn there as well. And this is good RNG right here, this van is pushing me. Yeah. Sometimes they decide to come from the sides and actually try to do a pit maneuver and block you. can cost a lot of time. And you can actually get stuck on those vans as well. So yeah. you can basically get sandwiched between three or four vans. If yeah. cars lose doors or hoods or s any other body part, you did good back there. they can react very weirdly and basically s you get stuck on them or something like that. It's super annoying. It can cost so many runs. Yeah, that's the one downside of being able to lose doors quickly, so you can get stuck yeah, on Yeah, in them. the very first corridor where I lost my door in the Karuma, um, if you don't do it in the perfect angle, um, you actually get stuck on your own door and flip the car, basically. So it's kind of risky, but since I do it that often, I kind of know how to do it. But I reset a decent amount of time there. <laughs> Okay, a couple more donations. We have $4.20 from Radio Math. Nice. Good luck on the run, Icon. <laughs> Hashtag GTA loves you. We love Chat you too, needs Radio more Math. concern, dope. And we have 60 cents from Lanon Roo. Igog, do you believe in love after love? I'm not sure if blue lion runners do. <laughs> 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 and a dollar from Dragoon Claw New Zealand. Dodo Strat's hype. Don't forget the replay glitch during the Liberator. Yeah, I think I mentioned that already, so I won't forget that. <laughs> and you should definitely be hyped for the Dodo strats at the end of the game. Yeah, there's a couple of strats that are very, very cool. Very risky as well. Originally, they were believed to... Uh, people thought they would be segmented only strats. There was yeah. a segmented run on um, SGQ... Uh, not SGQ, sorry. Uh, SDA, <laughs> that's the right one. Um, that had those strats in it. But he started the last segment at one mission before the Dodo starts. So he had a lot of tries to get those done. And people thought in the single segment run that would never happen because it's 50 minutes into the game. Way too hard. You would rarely reach that point in the run anyway. And then yeah. like having these strats where if you miss them, your run is just over. Yep. But we started including them more and more. It originally started with the... Um, with the exchange strat that you included, Adam, like um, the second flight into the dam, yeah. which saves like 40 seconds or something. Mm -hmm. Saves a full helicopter cycle. Uh, yeah, and later on we started introducing SAM, this SAM shot, which I hopefully will not miss during this run. It's a really cool shot. Yeah. It looks very really precise good. as well. Yeah. And we were actually battling for a world record when that got introduced. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that, that strategy saved more than a minute. Uh, yeah, which it was essentially meant that anybody could get the run. Yeah, as soon as people start realizing you can actually do this strat in a single second run, um, it was like, okay, this world record is up for Perhaps. the first one to do a run with this strat. And. Then Adam kind of stopped running it after he got a very good run with um, the SAM strats. Yeah, with pretty much all the strategies we had at this And time. a 14.30, yeah. Which was a really good time, a 116.16. But uh, there was still one segmented strat left to introduce, which is Dodo Bait. Which mm, me and I think To Do Work were actually kind of started pushing into the run. And yeah. which I pretty much perfected, I would say. <laughs> yeah, you got it consistently down. Yeah, and then I was 
able to get the world record from you because you have slower strats and stuff. And I also started getting 1330s consistently, which is one minute faster than your Portland times when you still did run. Well, no, I, I mean, I was aiming for yeah, 1330s at well. Yeah, yeah, but, but it was you basic. didn't really manage to finish a nice single segment run with one. Yeah. Because it takes a while until you get that evidence dash, which is nice, uh, nice RNG. Yeah, yeah. Then you need the game cars. We'll mm -hmm. all see of that. We'll all see that later. Yeah, leaving Portland is incredibly hard, but even once you've left Portland, there's so much left. It doesn't get better. Yeah, yeah. It, any r any mission can just completely destroy your run. Yeah, and in this mission, by the way, um, we have to like we call it the guy Curly Bob. <laughs> I think that's actually his name. No, I'm no, not no sure. that is yeah. his actual name. Yeah. All right, um, we have to um, follow him, but we can also take him where he wants to go if we have a cap because he obviously doesn't know how we look like and we're supposed to find out if he's a snitch or not and well surprise he is one <laughs> uh, yeah so this is actually a nintendo strategy it's, it's just yeah the really game is uh, annoyed, I guess. The, the game has a uh, certain flex actually for it if your car is too damaged temp yeah. damage too much you can't pick him up and he says no i don't want to go out, uh, get in there <laughs> <laughs> so it is completely intended but the game doesn't actually tell you you can do it it's like one of those things that you can't find out. You may now switch to Flashback FM, which has just been sniped from MSX. All right. Um, and we have five dollars from Dub Game. Just take the rest of my money. Good luck, Ed. G hashtag GTA hype. And five dollars from Kevlar. I want to greet everyone in the room and everyone in my room. Good luck with the runs. All right. As soon as the mission pass thing is over, we can get to Flashback. There we go. Now people can sing if they want. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm like uh, 10 seconds behind 13.30 pace right now, so it's really tight to being actually a good Portland time. Because um, the way the, the cuts off every full minute, at some point it's just impossible to get a better Portland time, obviously. And the best time you can kind of realistically expect this is 13.30. It's theoretically possible to get a 12.30, which, but you need like every single part of RNG has to be perfectly right. Yeah, so when we say like 12.30 to 13.30 or whatever 30, uh, that essentially means the time at which a guy called Salvatore leaves a club during a mission called Sayonara Salvatore. That's uh, the last mission you do, which kind of finalizes the whole Portland section. And it's truncated to the, uh, it's uh, rounded to the minute. So um, if you pick up the mission at, let's say, 11.58 in game time, then you're going to get 14.30 uh, 14 Portland. And if you pick it up two seconds later, then it's going to be shifted by one entire minute. Yeah, so two seconds time loss mean 58 seconds in the end. Exactly, so you can lose an entire minute uh, just yeah. from like being a f a f just a couple of seconds too slow. Uh, which is why every single tiny time saver in Poland is important. Uh, yep. Like, you know, knocking off your door or something. Or, oh, or this kind of guy. Stop, stop touching the border. Just a quick announcement. Back to MSX. <laughs> 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 Alright, I guess we do that now all the time. There we go. One is the business. The next mission will be pretty boring. We are supposed to drive a trash master to a fish factory of the gang that we're currently fighting against. And it's really slow and it's a long drive and we use the reverse camera to not have a single car on the road, so there's nothing really happening in this mission. Yeah, basically in this game stuff yeah. doesn't spawn where you're not looking. Yeah, so. they made it to load up uh, performance requirements, I guess. It's the same actually for Y City as well. So there you sadly don't have the top-down camera though, which would make it a lot easier. But you can still do reverse camera. That works in Y City as well. <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> Jonas here. Oh, is this? Is that you? Now. Uh, yeah, anyways, uh, starting with San Andreas though, this doesn't work anymore. 
the only kind of camera trick you can do in San Andreas is you can yeah. flick your camera wildly because uh, the camera is controlled by controlled by mouse movement, and you can use despawn traffic. But that that doesn't hey, well, actually it truly despawn traffic. It just kind of rerolls the RNG dive. Yeah, dive. it just spawns new traffic. Yeah. But you can share the microphone. Right? You can use it to yeah, well, manipulate well. traffic. Oh, it's not on? Uh, My bad, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was not intentional, sorry. I didn't quite look what radio station was on. Um, upcoming now is a little gate trick, a skate kit. Like you saw, I opened the gate there and I had to wait for it. But at the end of the mission I have to get out again and it's closed. But if I get there fast, during this cutscene it will open and I don't have to wait, like you can see right now. When the camera switches you will see the gate already open. And I can just drive out. It's one of those important time saves if you are very close to the next minute step at the end for the Portland time. Yeah, it looks trivial and small, but it does actually save uh, like six or seven seconds. Yeah, yeah, because the gate is really slow in opening up. Yeah. I really like this, like this car, by the way, because if you drive over. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fair point. Although I do like uh, the radio station. <laughs> yeah, just keep reminding me. <laughs> ah, damn it. There we go. But yeah, I dislike this car because the, the hood of it, it can get stuck really easily on pedestrians. I actually lost quite a few Portland runs just by driving over a pedestrian and you basically lose all your speed or you get stuck or the van flips. It's so stupid. But at least you can't really flip the car. It's almost impossible to flip Yeah, you can always it. flip it back, but every single bit that loses your time uh, is obviously bad. Now we do kind of the same drop that we did in my clips last lunch, but it was a little bit different car, so it's kind of different. But it should be fine. Yep, yeah, there we go. Now we pick up 8-Ball, which still has no hands, but that doesn't stop him from actually planting a bomb on a boat, which we he will do for us after we snipe a few guys. Which is not that easy with Spock as we have it right now. But that's just a uh, fixed weapon pattern in this game. You will always get fucked at this mission if you go a certain speed, which I want to do to get a good run. Yeah, all weather in the in the entire run is predictable, so we know exactly that. Like on the first day at 23:02 in-game time, it's gonna start raining. Yeah, that was during um, the mission with Maria, where we dropped her off at the club. Yeah, sure. Always rain. starts raining there. It, yeah, um, that's that's a funny thing. I realized. I started realizing when we were trying to do a segmented yeah, run of yeah, this yeah. game. Um, there is a mission called Evidence Dash, which is, requires a lot of driving. And a mission that requires a lot of driving, especially with routes that are not fixed. Make rain can make that really difficult. And originally we thought, if you get a 13.30, you are fast enough to complete that mission before the rain starts. But for some reason, sometimes the rain actually starts a minute earlier than it's supposed to be. I'm not sure why that happens, but it's super weird. And at once even, it's actually in the SDA run that I submitted of GTA 3, uh, the rain actually started one minute later than it should be. I had a 14.30 and I got the rain after Evidence Dash, which should not happen. It's a yeah. weird glitch, basically. I think, uh, we don't know why it happens. Wasn't it that uh, the time is a little bit offset with the weather sometimes? Like, even if the time advances, the weather is still gonna, uh, like, internally go at the same time. So, like, when you have issues like the frame rate being too high, the clock just stops sometimes or Here's something similar happens. So Could be, like, during a load zone, it just Maybe. bugs out for, like, let's say 30 frames or something. It's just really annoying because uh, the run uh, Adam back then was supposed to do the first segment because I wasn't quite able to do a 13.30 but he was and he recorded that one and as soon as we did uh, stuff for the second segment I actually started realizing hey it's raining during evidence dash this Which should didn't make any sense this should yeah. not happen no. and later on when I started getting a 13.30 from single segment as well I got that so often and I'm still getting it so often which is really annoying, because rain can make it so much harder. And this, by the way, is um, basically the last mission of Portland. You now have to avoid this trap here, the super dangerous trap. 
<laughs> which is very easy to miss actually because it gets sent to you via the page, which right. you normally ignore because it's like, oh, you can buy pistols with ammunition now or something. Yeah. Nobody cares. But yeah, Salvatore saw, uh, is kind of got paranoid and he thinks we're a spy too, so he wants to kill us. But Maria, his daughter, I think. <laughs> I think it's because uh, wife, Maria I and Claude are wife? I'm not developing sure. a relationship together, so Salvatore gets pissed about that. Yeah, he gets he gets jealous about it. Yeah. But yeah, she's uh, she's kind of in love with us. She, she tells us uh, just in time. Yeah, that's a trap. Get to the docks, and now we unlock the second island. And. The next mission I pick up is the mission that rounds up. It's going to be a 14.30 now, like you can see it's 11.10 right now. I will pick up the mission before 12, which means I get two and a half minutes added on the 12, which is a 14.30. And so we have a lot of spare time right now. 40 <coughs> seconds, 50 seconds, where I can do lots of stuff. Yeah, like go to ammunition, buy a couple of weapons. News and just pick up a, an M16 as well, which is yeah. pretty much the most powerful gun in the entire game. We also get our car, which we're going to use until evidence dash here. And I immediately lose the door, because it's a very convenient spot and I don't want that door. And yeah, like Adam said, we're going to get some armor, which I already have, but we also get grenades. And Uzi, um, a really OP gun, and then we get to where we actually have to complete the mission. Which is super trivial. <laughs> the way Unless you do it glitches out on you. Yeah, I hope that doesn't happen. Which killed quite a few second attempts as well. Yes, exactly. Because we were going for perfection, obviously. Uh, every second lost is bad. And in Portland itself, you can't really lose any seconds as long as you get a 1330, obviously. Because in the end, it gets all rounded up. But because we can only conveniently, s or could only conveniently save after this mission, um, we could obviously lose a little bit of time during this mission. And if you kill the guys at the club, uh, the way we do it, it can happen that one of them gets... Alright, never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain that right now. Uh, some of the guys can get stuck in the building or in certain places or don't spawn at all. Or just fall out of the sky and flex it. Lots of stuff. Which costs time, obviously, and it, I think it took you three tries until you finally got the run without that. Yeah, that was back when getting a 1330 was was actually really rare. Yet it took weeks actually to get that. I think like one or two weeks. Well, no, I, I managed to get like one 1330 per night roughly after uh, from a couple of hours of grinding. Oh, okay. Um, but it was still annoying that you know you spend the entire day with it and then yeah, and then it, and then it just dies like that. Yeah. So you spend five or six hours. And, yeah. But yeah. Well, I mean, you realize that Such the is life in GTA. Exactly. And if they weren't paying oh, particular my <sighs> if I can <laughs> if I can jump in there, actually. So we've got one dollar from Feed Me, MSX, rip my money. Seven dollars from OG Loke, high love in the runs, the memes, thanks T Dog. One dollar from Overcooler, high shout outs to all the hashtag GTA runners, also Hi, also. Hi, A God. Good luck Hi. on the GTA 3 and Vice City runs. P.S. Oh my God, streamer, why do you play this old game when GTA 5 is already out? A <laughs> dollar <laughs> thirteen from Filmer uh, Rise. Motivation for Ed sub one thirteen. Hopefully you get sub one thirty in Vice City 2. Greetings from everyone, everybody one by one. GTA is the best community in the whole universe. Love Phil. Five dollars from Maglame. I used to play the trumpet quite a bit, if you know what I mean. Time for more flashback. <laughs> One dollar from Dub Game again. MSX or Riot. This is really my last donation. I'm broke. GG. <laughs> Fifty cents from Anonymous. Hi, go. Good luck with your run. GTA Three and MSX hype. Also, everybody in the room, do the Mexican wave or Harlem Shake or something similar. Kappa. Five dollars from Cherno. Back to flashback. Two dollars from Kevlar. Please read my name as it is. K-V-E-L-E-R -E -E Love all the runners Hashtag GTA runners Four dollars from Feed Me again MSX, MSX FM Best FM Three dollars twenty-two from Reutcher Shout out to the hashtag GTA community For being the best community uh, Twelve dollars from Odyssey uh, Hashtag GTA for best looking community They 
They say don't turn that radio. I say put flashback on. Good luck with the run, OG Ed. A dollar from Anonymous. Thank you guys for running my favourite GTA game. Good luck and have fun. Shout out to my vodka bear and Balaka. PS MSX radio is the best. All right. I have to mention something here. There's a strat called the Chelsea drop, which I'm not going to do because <laughs> I Good promised Chelsea I would do it if he shows up, but he didn't show up at ESA, so I'm not going to do it. Even though, even though it's 100% consistent, it I is 100% consistent. You could. <laughs> I'm you could no, disappointed in you. Yeah. <laughs> It saves two seconds. You're already so slow in that I am. If this is not world record, it's basically Jolzy's fault. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> because he didn't show up. Literally only his fault. Have you guys tried, uh, managed to figure out uh, the Mafia spawns when the Salvatore kill happens? Like, um, who's the, there's the one guy that tends to glitch out. Oh, we uh, don't know precisely. We had hypotheses about it. Quite, but I have a certain spot that I always stand in and aim at. and. 99% of the time I don't get it, so I think it has something to do with this. at what time you hit them, where you stand, kind of like that. I think it depends on how you kill them and when the yeah. collision uh, just disappears. Yeah, that's pretty much how I went it. Like, just a certain spot. And but I rarely have that problem. Yeah, it doesn't happen to me. <coughs> If we can jump in there with two more donations. $3 from Ellis. I really don't care about the radio station, but literally everyone else wants MSX, so I decided to support them. MSX, best radio, hell yeah. And $60 from DA. Uh, MSX, 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 MSX. Hi, Adam. <laughs> All right. That was our first mission in Staunton. Now we're going to put the OP weapon, like some people like to call it, to use. It's basically like the minigun. It's basically the minigun of GTA 3. Yeah, yeah. It, it uses a certain amount of ammo and it does ridiculous damage. Yes. You can basically one shot everything. Yeah, you can actually kill pretty much every enemy with one single bullet as well. And it has crazy range, really stable gun. Yeah. It's good. Yeah, even now, the rocket launcher has nothing. This on mission, it. we were supposed to get a boat, a police boat, to be exactly, and shoot <coughs> it while driving behind it. But sadly, it's parked in a very convenient spot where we can still reach it. So I'm gonna be a little bit careful here. Nice. Nice. And yeah, you can just use the OP gun to kill this boat from there. Yeah, shooting the boat down um, from the first pier is actually a bit more risky than doing it from the second Yeah, because the, the distance one. is very tight. If you miss a few shots at the beginning, the boat is just out of range at a certain spot. And you can't hit it anymore. And the hitboxes are kind of uh, funky yeah, as well. Not everything that's Actually, the model is a hitbox, so <laughs> yeah, the you really have to weird. know where to aim at. Yeah, the boats are very weird in that regard. Uh, same applies to some NPCs as well. Like, uh, during under surveillance, when you try to get a headshot on some of them, you like aim to their left. Yeah, the, the last guys on the, the balcony, the headshot. you really have to know where to aim at there. Yeah. I'm not I'm aiming for bodies, I'm aiming for certain spots, actually, because not everything is a hitbox. Yep. Oops. <laughs> Picking up phones is really hard. <laughs> yeah, in this mission we just drive from payphone to payphone. It's not very exciting. This used to be... Most of GTA running used to be a lot harder before um, the, the top-down camera. Yeah. Uh, like you see, there's zero the traffic. It's a lot harder if there's actually traffic on the road. Yeah, so it used to be the case that you had to dodge absolutely everything, but nowadays, you know, you've got this trick. Uh, it means that standards are higher as well, like in this kind of stuff. Yeah, this should never happen. That's okay. just very sloppy play right there. Yeah, like having car collisions used to be kind of expected. expected. And nowadays it's... Uh, it's nowadays you don't want a single car crash yeah. basically until start of evidence dash because you want to keep this benchy until evidence dash, which is like 13 or 12 minutes of gameplay where you just take this car and don't want to damage it at all. Yeah, and the Banshee is one of the weakest cars in the game. Like, yes. it, it gets destroyed absurdly easily. Okay, not to focus here right now. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you don't go for arm shorting. <laughs> no, I, that should be fine. I will do the job. Oh, you mean, oh, never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, never yeah. mind. Yeah. But that's what you did recently in your mission, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty slow here. I lost seven seconds already because there's this timer, and I know exactly when to pick up the phone. Should've been there at two or two. What's 155 instead? 
but that's okay. And yeah, this music is awful, please change it. Right? You can't help us. <laughs> it's Adam's favorite radio station, right after K-Chat. I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> and Rise FM. MSX is ahead by $60 over flashback. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> looks... Like you should have said, please don't donate for flashback. So to read some of the comments, fifteen dollars from the Fillory D. Go OG Ed and GL with the run, and love to all from hashtag GTA uh, from Dragoon Claw NZ. Keep MSX 101.1 alive. It's Liberty City's finest. Uh, twenty dollars from anonymous. Twenty dollars for flashbacks because MSX is not. Music. Five dollars. <laughs> the damn god. Shoutouts to all the GTA runners. I absolutely love to watch your streams and wish you the best luck. I'll order RNG Jesus to be as gentle as possible with you today. Thank you. Yeah, um, RNG Jesus can strike this run down very easily later on. Uh, there's going to be some very risky missions. Yeah, now is the last time we actually use the OP gun. We have to throw a grenade in this window to get the guy out and then instantly destroy his car with the OP gun. Normally there's supposed to be a car chase, but as you can see, that's not happening. Are you gonna repair the banshee? Uh, no, this should be fine actually. For evidence dash. It doesn't, yeah, it it doesn't be okay, damage yeah. too much. As long as the police isn't too bad, it, as long it depends as the pattern on isn't the worst, then it yeah. yeah. It depends a bit on the police, but I can easily get six packages with this. Yeah. As we as have I don't feel anything. $14.30 from Defocus89. <laughs> Could have been a $15.30 or $16.30 or whatever donation, but the run is too good. Oh god, it's literally stealing from ESA right now. Also, <laughs> MSX. My bad. I didn't know this was a thing, so I could have done uh, 24 30. Hey, but on the plus side, it was for MSX, so the faster you went, the lower it was. Oh, okay, I didn't know which really did. Thank right. goodness. Alright, let's see if I can get this job without killing my Benji. That's yeah, there's, that's a, there's a simple yeah. reference point for this. So. Yeah, but to the left there is a uh, wooden pole, and to the right there's a wooden pole, and if you smash into it, your car is basically dead. Yeah. And it saves basically driving around and getting into a normal way. So. And there are some <laughs> lampposts you can hit nice. too. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of jumps where um, if, if you don't jump while sprinting, it somehow makes you fall over. Yeah, it's For some weird. bizarre reason. <laughs> it happened uh, during... Um, pick up of all the weapons on the last uh, mission, you, Nick, the, the 1430 mission, I don't yeah, really yeah, remember yeah. the name. Sayonara Salvatore, <laughs> there it happened the as M16, well. Yeah. You have to s jump at very s at special very times there the so you don't yeah. fall over, it, it's really weird. And now we get the rocket launcher, um, we already, uh, so we still have one bullet left from the one we picked up on the roof there, or on the containers, we get another five now, and that will come in very handy soon, but first we have to do the favorite mission of every GTA series runner, which is called Evidence Dash. <laughs> RNG and it heaven. also will start raining in about 40 seconds, so... Yeah, it used to be the case that if you got out of Portland, which never happened, then you would die on this mission. Yeah, Guaranteed. Adam's Guaranteed. split is called Burning Benji. <laughs> <laughs> But it it, well, even if you pass it, you <coughs> will have a burning match. Right? Yeah, this, we will lose this car after this mission, no matter what. Yeah. But first, we have to collect some evidence dash. Hopefully fast and without too many police trouble. This mission just makes so little sense. You have to, you have to bump into a, a Bobcat, a pickup truck, so that it drops some evidence, pick it up, and then burn it. Yeah, and then destroy your car. But you yeah. can't destroy the Bobcat because it's immune to basically everything. It's not allowed to fall in the water because then you fail it because evidence that evidence is all over the city, obviously. If it gets actually good pattern, somehow, somehow yeah, that's a nice start. You want to spin him out of control so that oh oh, oh that's a shame. That's bad. Yeah, you want to spin him out of control so that he oh wow yeah. that's a bad hit. That's yeah. a very bad hit. That police car spawn. This banshee is probably not gonna survive this nope. at this rate. But oh, this yeah. is actually now a it's now, it's section. now it's going to be evidence depression. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and like when you bump into the Bobcat, sometimes it just doesn't drop the packages, which is really annoying. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Like, yeah. There's supposed to be a speed drip difference between you and the Bobcat, so it drops the packages, but sometimes it just doesn't. He's giving a very nice pass. Yeah, he was yeah. fair. 
has so many runs where he just decides to be a total jerk and nice. just circle that, around. This is actually walk. perfect. All right. Get out and run away. Uh, <laughs> you don't get at least a couple. Yeah. No, no, yeah, that's right. a good one. That's no. actually pretty good. Yeah. And yeah. I got a pretty good card there as well. Yeah. 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 It could have gone a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I didn't get the last package with the Burning Benji, that would have been pretty bad. I guess the Ultimate is still try to lure a police car over there if they leave a police car. Uh, that's mostly what I do, yeah. Yeah. Optimally, you would still switch to a Benji or an Infernus at some point. Yeah. But you have to do it with a grenade then, mostly to do it fast and not get busted and whatnot. And that's really risky. That's what the second run does as well, but I stopped doing that because I lost too many runs because of that. Yeah. And the police car is just the safe way to do it. But I obviously got it. Yeah, you can just easily shoot the guys and just complete the mission and they'll despawn. And now, because this wasn't enough RNG, we actually get more RNG. Yeah, cast point RNG. You have this doesn't tend to be bad. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but it can still cost 10 It can troll you. Yeah. We have to get a Colombian gang car for this mission because otherwise they won't let us into the compound and they spawn around here and but it's uh, hopefully get one, yeah. It's basically random, I don't see one. So, so there's, there's one. one. That's, okay. that's, that's, that's actually a pretty good spot. Yeah, that's decent. pretty good. Yeah. yeah, you want to get it on the kind of first pass. If you don't get one straight away, you do a 183 turn and you just drive past. You drive down the road basically again, yeah. Yeah. But obviously it's all across the time. Yeah, the worst thing is when you drive back and forth a couple and of times. And now we do the replay yeah. glitch. As soon as I drive through the door and the first guys change their movement, um, I can drive over them and everybody else will not start shoot at me anymore besides those behind the doors. That's oh, bad. That's, that's a really cool one. That's bad as well. Yeah, so this There's is the three worst. doors where the guy we are supposed to save uh, can spawn and he spawned in the worst door. Yeah, he spawned as far away as he possibly could spawn, basically. When yeah. was that discovered? Uh, what is this Replay guy? Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty recent... Yeah. What? Yeah. This guy should not shoot me. Whatever. Uh, really yeah, Linator discovered this uh, replay glitch. Uh, it started after someone um, found out that you could um, delay the in-game timer with the replay. And Linator basically just went through all the missions and press replay randomly at spots, <laughs> <laughs> try to find if something would break, and it actually did for this mission, so that's... Yeah, yeah that's also with, uh, what I tried with the trainer, like you can mess the Catalina's helicopter cycle, like when the uh, cutscene triggers you can basically soft lock the game or you can make the helicopter go like hundreds of meters in the air, just randomly, it's really weird. Yeah, replay break a lot. Yeah, you can basically uh, intentionally soft lock the game with replays, like, if you enter a car, I think, or jump into a wall and press replay at the same time, stuff like that, the game just soft locks. <coughs> it doesn't know what to do. It's it's a function they introduced, but then I don't think they really tested it. So yeah, it's it a lot better in Vice City, and you can actually quite utilize it in Vice City as well. You use it. Oh, it's still broken in Vice City as well. You can still soft lock the game. Yeah, yeah but it's not as bad anymore. Yeah, it's way better. Only, so. Yeah, consoles obviously don't have that. And now we put our rockets to use. We still need the game card for this mission, which is very practical, because we have it from the last mission. And we are supposed to start a gang war, basically. Like, we pretend we're the Colombians, kill some uh, Yakuza's, and then they start a gang war with each other. <coughs> but, yeah, the game normally wants you to drive over uh, someone with the gang car, so they think that that's the Colombians, but you can actually do it a little bit differently. Let's try this, and that's a good car spawn if it works, this works out. Can I jump in with some more donations? Uh, yeah, should that, should yeah that should be fine. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Now he's dead, and they think the Colombians did it, even though they <laughs> never saw a Colombian gang car. Yeah, all the game checks for is that you're inside the Colombian gang car, and that the guy is dead, that Kenji is dead. That's yeah. really nice spot. Yeah. You can fail the mission if you're out of the gang car on the top on the top two floors, but we're not there, so it doesn't Oh, nice police car. Yeah, nice lane switching. But yeah, you can do some donations now. The next mission is on a timer and there's not much happening. Come on driving, please. <laughs> yeah, okay. all the constant camera toggling has a purpose by the way, it's just to, <laughs> to keep the roads clear. Ellen, please. I just told him you can do some donations. Oh, yes. 
All right, I'm still in this gap now. Um, so we have $14.30 from inflation. Hey guys, put this towards flashback, push it to the limit, I got. Oh, is it flashback at the moment, by the way, or MSX? Still MSX, oh, by a long shot. <laughs> uh, $5 from CFB. Adam, why aren't you reading I got's Twitter for him right now? Donation is runner's choice. I don't have a Twitter. So do you want MSX or flashback or something else? I don't have a Twitter. <laughs> 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 $20 from Fex35, make flashback happen for I got an Adam. And a dollar from DAS, why is no one donating Lips106? It's the best radio station in all GTAs. Lucy's Forever is so beautiful and might only get beaten by Connor and Jay Change. Hope Adam does some GTA any percent streams again, they're the best. Until then, GT fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> Lips106 does have the joyride. What I was trying to do there, I was trying to find a fast car, preferably a Banshee, because it's just the car I'm most familiar with. Do we still have audio? Should be okay. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, I'm most familiar with, the Banshee is really stable. Uh, okay. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Let's just take this then. And That's another thing, yeah. Uh, and yeah, the Benji is just really familiar, good and all, but the Stinger is basically the same, just a little bit worse, so that's fine too. And I park it at that pier because, um, I'm, well, yeah, you can't pick up armor. Yeah, I should be fine. Without armor. But uh, yeah, um, I will be picking up some packages and the police doesn't quite like that, so we'll get the maximum wanted level we can get at the moment, which is five stars. And... The FBI in this game is insane. They're brutal. So you do not want to drive on the road if it's possible. So I'm minimizing the, the road, the time I travel on the road, and park as close to Donald as possible where I can still get out of my boat comfortably. And that's what I will be doing. I will drive to that pier, get into my car, and hope the FBI is kind and doesn't wreck my car. Yeah, so they, still they have it. numerous ways of just Destroy the yeah, they're route. they're way faster than any car because they have rubber banding. They are turning like crazy. They have roadblocks. They just constantly try to crash into you, and, and they don't care if they carpet over. Yeah, or they will just get out and start shooting. You there are suicide Most of the cops. time, there's like three or four FBI cars just crashing into you. Yeah, speed. Yeah. If you get hit by an FBI car, it can be it can be quite devastating. And the roadblocks as well. Like they are really deadly if you slow down. But yeah, one like more package and then it's time. Like the last two or three runs that I did, uh, the FBI make me lose a whole bunch of time. Oops. Simply because they blocked me off or flipped a car right next to the mission marker for the next mission. And, you know, they force you uh, to, to get out of the way to avoid death. Yeah, another fun thing coming up soon is when we unlock the third island is uh, um, bridge cycles. It's actually all on a fixed timer, so if you go fast enough, the, the bridge is never a problem, mm. but sometimes you make a few mistakes, lose some time, and then you lose even more time just because you don't catch quite the bridge cycle anymore. Because it's a lift bridge and it takes quite some time until it gets down again, it goes. It's my bad, but we're fine. Okay. We're fine. How many blockades will we get? That's unlucky. Okay, and here's the FBI. Oh, That's so a many wow. pedestrian bounces. Little bumblebees coming. Oh. All right, we're good, we're good, oh we're good. Ooh. That was very uncool, the pedestrian downs. That's why I normally avoid to drive over pedestrians as much as I can, but sometimes it just isn't yeah, you're an alternative. Out. Wow, okay. But I made it. This and is why Stinger is really able, because it just flips over Thank really you. easily. Yeah, this is also really damaged, which could be bad in this mission if I make a little mistake, but it should be, it should be fine. Really? Wow. <laughs> that thing just started moving. Holy that shit. could cost the bridge cycle now. I hope it doesn't. It's pretty tight. Wow. <laughs> because it's also a stinger, not a yeah. banshee. Yeah, it's a little bit slower. Could still be fine. Oh my god. That fence, man. Just attack Are you, you going to go for my highlights? <laughs> uh, no. Oh yeah, flip it over. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. You can do a backflip and land I on hope it's still good enough. Bridge cycle basically could cost me. Yeah, it's gonna be. It should be 30 fun. seconds. Yep. Oh, this is tight. This it's gonna be very, very close though. It's very tight. Easily. Yeah. Oh, oh no! No 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 no! 
Yes! Oh, that's bad. That's still bad, but at least he's alive. Oh. But at this point, this is gonna... Oh. <laughs> and but at this point, this is gonna end up costing more than actually missing the uh, bridge cycle. Yeah, that's yeah. true. But uh, luckily, I didn't drop through the bridge like we saw on the highlight reel. Yeah. yeah if because you drop onto the bridge sideways, then you will just clip through. You can clip through, yeah. And that luckily did not happen. That would have been really bad. But this is still acceptable. <laughs> yeah, the hit detection on the bridge is really, really broken. Yeah, fortunately, you're not, you weren't going to use that cover very long yeah. anyways. It's only to drive through the airport. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just basically run over a couple of dudes and then you have for the health. dodo. I hope actually this car is fine because it's kind of slow. <laughs> it should be okay. You have more health at least. Yeah, but he's the OP. Well, car right? health isn't really an issue in this mission. As long as you get the first guy, then it's fine. Yeah, you're fine. Well, oh, okay, this one didn't die. Whatever, we'll kill him now. Where is he? Alright, then here's where the dodo is. Yeah, uh, now we start dodo flying. That's it's got amazing wings, this thing. Yeah. yeah. You might think this can fly, but it can. <laughs> it's a great plane. And now we're basically gonna use the dodo for and every single mission for the rest of the game. Yeah. We're gonna use it everywhere where it makes sense, and it makes sense in a lot of places. Luckily. Yeah, so last ESA Oasis and I, we just crash landed this plane into a skyscraper and that's kind of all you saw of the Dodo, except for like the very last mission. Yeah, last year this flight was included, but yeah. they landed, didn't land, didn't really land the plane. Like yeah, we I'm crash landed. I'm gonna um, land it. I landed the plane on the, for, for the last mission. Yeah, yeah but, mission, but not yeah, on yeah. this mission. On this yeah. mission you just crash land into a few enemies and hope you don't die, and I'm gonna normally land it. Yeah, which is... Pretty tricky actually, because losing speed with this thing is kind of risky. That might be too soon. Yeah, yeah that's, that's you're gonna go out of bounds now. Gonna... Oh, that's okay. You'll respawn real. Yeah. You'll respawn on the road. This but time. that's you'll get to see the bloody colors. I'm doing bad things here. That's not good. There we go. Yeah. Um, as long as you don't flip this thing over, you should be but okay. That yeah. door though, just did quite a lot of damage. Of that. It should be fine. The store though. You can fit through. All right. I, I've gone through this before. Oh, <laughs> so many mistakes. All right, never mind. We still have the dodo for the strats to show off. Mm. That's the important thing, actually. Actually, landing the dodo is so much harder than oh my God. taking off and flying the plane. Yes. And that's good RNG. Yeah. Yeah. That only took one hit. Yeah. Maybe two during the loading. No. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't need that. But normally you would crash land the door into those guys, which can actually be really risky, so uh, it's still MSX, I guess. So we're back there. Oh, no. no. Not really, come oh. on. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Now I can't show off the strats, that's really bad. Yeah, that's, that's a shame, yeah. That's gonna cost some time. That's mm. essentially. I really wanted yeah. to show this. this. This sucks. That's a shame, yeah. Um, basically, what I got wanted to do was uh, use the dodo to, mm. um, to fly to Donald's off place which is in the middle of the city essentially, and then fly back to this construction site again, and then do the next entire mission from the airplane. Yeah, well, everything I'm doing with the car right now would have been done with a Dodo. Yeah. Everything, and this, this sucks. I really was looking forward to showing this. I'm actually thinking about wasting time to get a Dodo to show it off right now, because <laughs> I don't really care about the Well, time. how would you do it, actually? I'm not sure. That would be kind of tricky, because it would mess up your rank level approach and your speed and everything. You could probably just show it after the run. Yeah, I guess yeah, I will do that. Say this yeah, we'll just do it after the run. Because it's so good. Yeah, it's a very cool strat. And it shows off just how yeah, hard it is to actually fly <laughs> the plane. I will do MSX again. Uh, flying the plane is actually surprisingly difficult because it's, uh, it's not really meant to be flown. The way mm. that, that, you, that you gain height is by pushing your nose down and actually mm. trying to go lower. Um, flying down increases the speed quite drastically, and more so than flying up reduces it. Yeah, basically you push the nose down to gain airspeed, which in turn makes you go upwards. Yeah. Sadly, this mission now is super boring. It's not exciting at all. You just drive around a bit, trigger three cars. It's so boring. <laughs> but we have to do it. And it, you have to deal with the bridge cycle as well. Yeah. Uh, with the dodo, you avoid all the bridge cycles, which is which is great. And the <laughs> tunnel, which you would have normally had to take during espresso to go. You right. avoid a lot of bullshit by just flying everywhere, obviously. But whatever. 
What? Anything else you want to stack on my head? <laughs> Only when you All sleep. Alright, go ahead. for it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> this reminds me of the old Toki days. <laughs> more hats. Yeah, more hats. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, you're gonna miss this first yes. one. This is terrible. Uh, should have paid attention to that landing. Yeah. Oh, uh, see if you can get a card to spawn in the area. So yeah, you can, you can actually around. get a bench here. Yeah. There's one behind you, so. No. Oh, you mean like, ah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah okay. You can make, the, the limo is perfect for this as well. First if of you all, you can get, get them to drive off there, you can do this. Get the limo to do it. <laughs> and, where is it? Why is it not driving? Oh, nasty. It wasn't driving. So yeah, yeah, well, when, yeah. You, when you bump into a car here, or you shoot it, um, they will just start driving off. Like, they don't even care that the bridge is not actually uh, down. They will just drive into the water. And if you time it correctly, you can actually get um, cars crushed as the, uh, but you can get them crushed down. by the bridge as it's lowering. Yeah, it um, kind of gets stuck inside the bridge. Then it's yeah, they, they clip funny. through and they take a bunch of damage and they bounce around a bit. It just looks funny. And the limos are the easiest cars to do this with because you get the most time to yeah, um, you know, line up. Yeah, now we just drive around the city a bit next to three cars, get them all to follow us to a certain spot where they get killed. Normally, we would be flying over them with a the dodo because that saves a lot of time. And do you still want to get a dodo for a special scope? Of course. Yeah. Might as well because it's it's very fun. It doesn't. It also saves us the trouble of just like with Yeah, annoying. which are now completely messed up. And tunnels. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, tunnels is very annoying too. But yeah, I get them to all follow me. And then they hopefully don't kill me, which can sometimes happen because your AI partner is useless. They all have open guns besides one car. Yeah. The first car is, they've got, uh, they've got SMGs. I think this, the those guys only have SMG and shotgun, I think. Yeah. But and the others all have the OP gun, and if they decide to randomly have very good aim, you're just dead because you need to stay inside the car. If you get out of a car, you kind of fail the mission. Well, you don't fail the mission, but they, but you they can. don't drive towards Yeah, they don't drive anymore, and if they get out outside of this spot where they are right now, you actually fail the mission. It's, yeah. it's a really annoying mission. It has so many weird ways to fail it. Yeah, the cars can get uh, stuck or they can dump themselves into the yeah, water. Yeah, if they kill themselves somewhere along the road, um, you fail, because it makes no sense. You're supposed... They're supposed to die, but if they die not like this, you fail it. It's, it's evidence oh, really? logic or this guy to to Yeah. And also, this is kind of... Oh! That's really this bad. Yeah. Oh, uh, the last one is also really fuck. close by. This is might he, be GG. He going to, he's gonna go away, yeah. Mm, this game, mm. man. That was just yeah. incredibly unlucky. Normally the car, w uh, normally the guys wouldn't actually aim for you. They would aim for some of the, the random guys standing around you. Like you saw, they drove off. If they would have been too close to me, actually, and I would have been standing around where they were, uh, they would have gotten out and I... You would have failed the mission. Where yeah. the fuck are... Th wow, this game, man. Yeah, so they drive off randomly now, and you have to make sure that they start chasing you again. Yeah. And they tend to just randomly drive into walls and stuff as well. Or get stuck in lampposts. Oh, be careful. No, that's fine. As long as I don't get out, they don't get out either. Well, if you stand still, they get out. Yep. If you're driving really slowly, they'll, uh, they'll wreck you. Mm, that might be... Go. No, yeah. it's no they can get out. It's not really Yeah, it's fine now, but... And there's no winter mods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so annoying. Oh fuck. You're out of ammo. Yeah, I just realized that. And you have to rely on your AI teammates to oh, actually okay. do uh, something which... One survived. Yeah. I think... Oh wait, I don't have a dodo anymore yeah. anyways. Yeah. yeah. I'm so confused because I never do this without a dodo. <laughs> <laughs> it's backup threats that I'm not supposed to use, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, we'll get the dodo now again. 
Yeah, so the Dodo respawns constantly in several locations. At the airport. Yeah, one of which is... Nice. One of which is the one where you picked up the bus as well. So bad. And yeah, cars struggle to drive past this bumpy section. But Especially if there's rain going on. Yeah, and you don't really see the bumps, it just kind of has a them. Whatever. It's very close by, you can just run towards yeah, it. Yeah, it's inside there. Yeah, just have to get to the other side. Let's hope this was the last thing. <laughs> And this Dodo will be quite short-lived. Yeah, we only use this for two flights, basically. And one crash landing. <laughs> <laughs> well, last year what happened to the Dodo, I, from what I remember, was that uh, uh, my controls were not found correctly and it crash-landed instantly. <laughs> <laughs> so, these things are cursed. <laughs> But yeah, I hope it's fine if I just show off the, the bait strats after this. Yeah, it should be really yeah. too. It doesn't take long at all, so... That's how I was supposed to land earlier. Yeah, the yeah now you've got to align it so that it's kind of flat. And this is exactly how you want it. Yeah, without any bounce <laughs> Yeah. Sadly, I didn't do that. Yep. It's really not that hard to do, but... Well, I it takes a bit of practice. I don't know. It's easy to mess up, let's put it that way. Especially if you have high speed, you need to slow down. Now we do a kind of fancy takeoff on this road to left here. Hopefully, no traffic in the way. That's good enough. That's good enough. Camera switch? No, I don't need that. Take yeah, you're here. Yep. And then we fly to Portland first and start there with the stalls. When's the Dodo Espress to go? <laughs> right now. This is is good. No. I mean, hitting all the souls with the Dodo. Um, no. That's right. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, we dodged <laughs> the Dodo here to get a Banshee. <laughs> and the package, of course. That's 100% strats. And yeah, we start with the two stalls in this island. We have, uh, we have to destroy nine of them. Two on Portland, two on Shoreside, which is the third island, and the other five are in Stanton. And hopefully there's yep. no uh, shotgun markers. They are actually disabled for this mission. Really? Yes, the game actually disables them. Okay. But it doesn't save you from red bunny on us. Oh, yeah. And blue line, line runners. This was on this mission as well. And blue vans. But yeah, now we're done with... Uh, wow. That was an interesting <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> that normally not happened. Anyways, uh, those are the two one in Portland. Then we do five in Staunton. And then the last two in Shoreside. And in Shoreside, there are a few gang cars supposed to stop you from destroying them. But if we get lucky, we'll maybe see one of them flipping around, that's about it. Because <laughs> they're not used to the route I will be taking, so they don't quite know what to do. Yeah, and one of them is just not even fast enough to actually reach you. Yeah, we're just too fast for the second one. Oh, you've memorized all the lyrics of that, so... Mm, just this one. But yeah, we mostly use grenades for these. You can use your car as well if you bump into it to the stall with a high enough speed it catches fire, which totally makes sense. Uh, don't question it. Uh, you can also use rockets, which I will be using for the stall after this one. And those are basically all the ways you can kill those. Yeah, and it took quite a while, but we figured out all the the reference points where you can just stand still and do a full grenade throw. Because aiming with a grenade is actually pretty dodgy. You don't see whether it's going to land or something. You have to kind of guess it. Yeah, this shot is not quite that easy, but you should done it a few times, I think. Sometimes you can get some pedestrians blocking you, which is annoying. Yeah, yeah sometimes pedestrians spawn right in front of the stall and lock the rocket for it. But that didn't happen. Alright, that's Staunton. 
And now we have to take the bridge again, sadly. It's kind of a trade-off. If I would not do Dodo Strats, I would have to drive through the tunnel. Which but is probably worse than the bridge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Although the cycle is a bit more sad. And I will not miss the cycle, that's good. And let's see if this works out. So there's going to be a little drop, drop coming up. Yeah, a little drop, which is a little bit random as well. It, it's well, it's not luck based or anything, but it's yes. Standard route now. Mm. Ah, so close. It's, but it's I good. Safe it. Yeah, it's you good. Good. So that's a pretty risky strategy because you can flip over very easily and it ditches you in the middle of nowhere with like no car. Yeah, but it skips driving all the way down the bridge and, and around, around it. Yeah. It saves a lot of time. It's worth it. And you didn't even see the game car because it's driving around somewhere totally confused. It's expecting you to exit the tunnel. The tunnel. Yeah. And it's supposed to, crash to into smash into directly into you if you exit the tunnel, but we're not taking that anymore. So one more stall and then we're done and we'll be t picking up another Dodo. For the for SAM and actually the last mission we'll be keeping that for those two missions. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully, it also hopefully. hopefully. During SAM it can take quite a lot of damage, but it should be fine. Uh, I still have one left. Okay. Ah. Mm. Yeah. If you have no bridge problems, it's quite a time save. That's good. Alright, here we go. It's hopefully our last Dodo. Yeah. And it was even on MSX. And with this Dodo, it's... That's a good sign, I think. Uh, it's very crucial to get uh, clean landings beca because you don't want the Dodo taking any more damage than it has to. Yeah, this Dodo doesn't have too much health and it gets damaged a lot in this mission and the next one, so you gotta be careful with this one. And it costs a lot of time if you lose this one. Well, bait cost did cost a lot of time too, but... I guess fortunately, if a oh, same would go wrong, then you can still uh, use the Dodo for the extreme. Yeah, you that's can still save it if you have to do a But first, we have to do a same. Yeah. I hopefully get all these guys right now. So, the, the upcoming mission is going to have a very poor cool strategy, which used yeah. to be considered essentially impossible for single segment, yeah. but then we just grinded the crap out of it and made once it worse. discovered that it's actually possible. Once you have a few reference points and know what to do, <coughs> It is actually not that hard. Yeah. It's very, very precise. Though. So it's easy to But do. before we get there, I have to pick up armor. Come on. Uh, from a actually fairly convenient pickup spot. And since this is all time, yeah, it's yeah. actually enough time to pick up the armor and get to the spot where we have to shoot the dodo. Yeah. Time. You have about two minutes to make it there and set up for the shot. And I already got a few shots on my dodo. It's not good. Please. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Interesting spot. Yeah, that's where the armor is. And I will be doing fairly risky takeoff after this, actually. But it should be fun. But yeah, the armor is, is very, very important for the exchange. Because if you don't have any armor there, then you can get blown up really quickly. Uh, it, it gets very luck dependent for the use of armor. Yeah. But. Okay. Yeah, 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 but, it costs but that one costs 10 seconds. One, yeah, that one go. costs at least 10 seconds compared to what I do right now, which is just running. Not a time to cost at all because it's all on the timer. Yep. Are you gonna do a backflip on me? No. <laughs> <laughs> not how I flew today. <laughs> that was one of the fancy things we wanted to implement for the segment of things, that you have to do backflip landings. Because they are very fast, I think you can try to all right. and, and we might actually get a car here, which is Hopefully really not good. a bobcat though. That's oh, bad. I think that's an angry driver. I'm not sure. But yeah, this dam no, can be not. really trolly. Sometimes absolutely no traffic will just spawn. That's what I usually get, unfortunately. And uh, you but can also get ultra here. Yeah. One of the few locations where it's where kind of Alright, now we're going to have to concentrate here. Yeah, so, so this is a serious time. time. This will be hard. Damn it.
might be too late. But that was a pretty late shot. Yeah. No, I think it's fine. It, if it's, you look at the it should it's be looking. fine. It's actually yeah. fine. Right. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Right. Uh, come on. Yeah, the car that you're using now is unfortunately one of the worst cars you could possibly have uh, for package pickup. Okay. Package pickup. No, Landstock would be better than this. Because yeah. this one this one drives above the packages. And that was very nice damage RNG. Yeah, I can yeah. actually skip the safety Hardly armor pickup either. now because of that. That's really good. And yeah, this uh, shot saves us all the remaining time on uh, the timer that basically was running, which is 1 minute and 17 seconds. Normally would shoot it down at the airport where it's supposed to land, but we shoot it down over the dam, which is hard in a lot of ways because first of all you have to hit it second of all it has to land exactly on the dam with all the packages if one package goes too far down the dam you can't really pick it up anymore or and if, if one lands in the water too early then you can't completely. really pick it up yeah. as well so this is really precise and now we want to keep this dodo for the next one and you can see how kind of uncontrollable it becomes as you uh, gain more speed Yeah. yeah, and especially since this game runs at 30 FPS, the inputs is really hard sometimes because some inputs just get ignored because of the frame count. So it makes it a lot harder. Yeah, it's a it's lot easier. It's insanely easier. Yeah, you just turn it off and it's like... It flies like a dream here. Oh, oh, this is nice. Too much light. So yeah, uh, now you're just going straight to the uh, to the final mission essentially. Yep. Normally you would drive all the way around, you'd have to take the bridge and such. This but flight takes an amazing amount of time. Yeah, it saves like a minute or something, and it's so simple. And because the hardest part is just actually landing the dodo. Yeah, the construction side. Fairly cool landing here. Actually. Cliff landing? Yeah. Ah, okay, like no dive landing. Nah, kind not, of overshot. Not a very good landing, but it's fine. Yeah. And as no, long as it remember once I landed the mountain edge and from there you That's the perfect the landing, yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be fine. Yeah. You got full health. 78 so. armor is just really good. You hardly took any damage there as yeah, well. Yeah, this, this should be That's fine. Now it gets yeah. very dangerous. Yeah, so now you have to do a, a now there's a super precise landing, a crash landing, and if it's if the angle is slightly off, then you could actually instantly die um, once a cutscene ends. Yeah, and yeah. even if it works out, you get out of the Dodo and there are guys with the OP weapon immediately shooting at you. Yeah, everybody has M16s now. It's or flamethrowers. Or, yeah. Pretty dangerous, and it takes a while to actually get this the right way. That's an interesting angle. It should be fine, though. That should be fine. It should be fine. You lost all your speed, so... You're not gonna bounce around. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, you're fine. And took a couple hits, not a big deal. Yep, this is... yeah, you're fine. Alright, get ready in time as well. Yep. Three more guys in the loop here. And... last guy. And then we just pick up this rocket launcher and kill the helicopter. And that's you can it. actually play it slightly mm -hmm. safer at the end here as well, because you have to wait for the helicopter anyway, but... Yeah, but it's alright. Yeah, it's fine. They don't really hit you, they have terrible aim. And that's time. Time. Yeah, the, the current world record is uh, one twelve fifty three or fifty four. Oh, did you like get a new one? Yeah, he yeah. got a new one. Wow, nice. My current time is a one thirteen oh two, so I could have been a lot faster. I had a few mistakes, and I actually want to show off bait now, because we, I think we have a few mistakes. Yeah, we have lots of I time. I just have to kill this game, because the credits, the credits are credits take a while to skip, yeah, they're stuck well, in the Well, more so the ending cutscene. And I really want to show this off, so we'll just load a save real quick. There we go. <coughs> I hope this actually works out now. <laughs> you can show the ID at, at the very least. So. You skip the GTA <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that much time. 
We have to. I think we have to catch up with the schedule a bit. So. <laughs> but yeah, 119. I guess that's good enough. Yeah, good, good. it's pretty good for a marathon. Yeah. <laughs> but I. But I would have preferred a 117 or a 116, something like that. Yeah, bait costs most of the time. And the 1430. Oh, 1430 is still That's, that's yeah. okay. Yeah. It could it's have been a 1330 actually, which is kind of sad, but whatever. There's okay. always, you can always, pretty much always blame one mission for not giving you the 1330. Like, yeah. you didn't get optimal van heist, which was about 15 seconds lost. I need no But yeah, I would have done this uh, takeoff right here. Oh, please car. Oh, that's fine, I will take this route then. Right. But yeah, I would have done a similar takeoff. And then we just fly over all the three cars in a certain order, in a specific way to hopefully manipulate them to drive to the spot where we did the mission earlier. And it's way faster if it actually works out. And it looks really cool. See, not losing control of the title is the hard part here, because it, you end up flying really fast. Yes. You fly really high here as well, which is some kind of like level limit of some sort. Uh, like you can't go any higher anymore, it just pushes you down. And you have to fly fast so you can take uh, turns more effectively. See, the passion cheese back. Phil's marriage is saved. And his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. As you can see, this cinco, looks pretty cinco, cool. Cinco, nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a yeah, because like I one wrong input, and you're going to spin out of control and crash. We turn an ending and I would have really evil. liked to do that in the run. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually got the perfect pattern. So this would have been so good, and this would have saved like at least three minutes. That's how awesome the strat is. Well, compared to, to the original strats, it saves about a minute, roughly, but compared to, you know, losing the dodo, the dodo beforehand and all that stuff, then, yeah. that's a big difference. Oh, come on. This is bad, though. Because yeah, you get two cars at the same time. Uh, one of them oh, no, that's fine. Oh, wow. No. Oh, that's one of the many ways how you can fail bait, actually. <laughs> it doesn't matter now, but yeah, yeah you get the idea, I guess. Yeah, that's the idea. <laughs> you saw the dodo fly, that's the important part. Yeah, yeah, and that's GTA 3. I hope you actually enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs>